Hey everybody, welcome to your daily growth devotional. Today I just want to share a couple of things with you, but before we dive into that, I want to share a testimony of a time when I was fasting and God began to reveal something to me. This happened back in 2012 and I wasn't a believer at the time, but I had signed up for a class called Holy Warriors. And in this class, I began to, we, we had 28 commitments that we signed up to do. One of them was to begin to read your Bible. The second was to begin to pray. Another was to fast. And understand, I had never done this before. I didn't know what this looked like, but I, I just began to walk in obedience to the commands. And as I did so, there was something that was revealed to me through this. The only way that I can describe it is in Matthew 16, he talked, Jesus was asking his disciples, who do people say that I am? They came up with these answers and they said, you know, some say that you're Elijah, some say that you're, you're, you're the prophet Jeremiah, some say, you know, that, that you you're, could be any one of these prophets. He said again, who do you say that I am? And Peter, Simon Peter at the time, he spoke and he said, you are the Messiah, you are the son of God. Jesus' reply to that was, only my Father in heaven could have revealed that to you. And in the same way, as I was begin to fast and I begin to, to seek his word and to hear his voice, it was something that just downloaded into my spirit that this is for real. So my prayer to you is that in this fast and during this time, that God would reveal to you exactly who he is. Amen? So let's go ahead and drive, dive right into scripture. This portion of scripture is out of Matthew 3, 6, 13 through 17. And it says this, Then Jesus went from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John tried to talk him out of it. I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, he said. So why are you coming to me? But Jesus said, It should be done. For we must carry out all that God requires. So John agreed to baptize him. After his baptism, as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and setting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved Son, who brings me great joy. There's so much that I could go into in this scripture, but there's, so, there's just a couple of things that really stand out to me. Number one, in the very first uh, verse, it says, Then Jesus went to Galilee from the Jordan River to be baptized. What was Jesus doing at this moment? He was making a decision. And making a decision to what? It jumps down right into to, to verse 17. I mean, I'm sorry, to verse 15. It says, It should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. What he was saying at this time when he got up and he made a decision that I'm going to leave from one place to go to another so that I would fulfill all that God requires. What's happening? He's walking in obedience to the Father. But when you do that, look at what takes place. It says that as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens opened. How many of you today want to see the heavens open up in your life? in areas of finance, in areas of relationships, in, in areas, whatever the case may be. How many of you would want to see the heavens open up for you? It's this simple. Begin to walk in obedience to the Word of God. I pray that this blessed you today, and I want to encourage each and every one of you, let's stay strong, let's keep fasting, let's keep seeking the Lord. God bless you.